But first I'm going to start with this color right here. This one's Girl Bye, and I'm going to use a small brush for, to put it on my crease. And I'm just going to pat it on and then blend after. I'm going to go into a small Morphe M514 and blend out the edges. I'm going to go into this brown color right here and afterwards mix it with this darker brown. I added some concealer to the middle. I added it a little bit farther than I usually would to add this one right here, which is a dirty money. And I'm going to add that all where I put the concealer. And I'm just going to go back in to Girl By, that pink color, and mix it over here just so we don't have so many harsh lines like that and then i'm going to go in with the makeup shack t63 and i'm going to add that dark brown color this one right here i'm just going to add that to my outer v i'm not really going to add it too much on the top just a little bit I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation. Honestly, when I'm not doing anything, I really don't want to use high-end foundations because what's the point? Um, so I'm using this Wet n Wild one, and it's good for probably like four hours. And I mean, I'm not doing really anything crazy today. So, I mean, I don't mind it getting a little in. But I feel like when I do my setting powder and all that, it still stays in place pretty, pretty good. You know when your beauty blender is a little to it? That's how I feel like my beauty blender is right now. So I always put powder underneath my eyes when I'm doing my under eyes. Just in case of any fallout. And I'm using the airspun because one, your girl ain't taking any photograph pictures today. And it's super affordable. So I'm going into Girl Bye first. And I'm just adding that to the bottom. To be honest, guys, we're basically doing the same thing we did to the top. So I'm just blending that out. And I always bring it a little bit more over here, too. This look became way more darker than I expected. I'm going to go into jeans, and I'm going to use a Makeup Shot 63. I look so crazy right now. Why do makeup looks look so crazy without lashes? Like, oh my god, I look crazy. Oh, I'm gonna blend everything out. I'm going to use the butter bronzer, and I'm using this small brush. To be honest, I don't know why. I'm just, I don't know. Maybe it'll make me look more chiseled if I use a small brush. I'm going to use this Kylie and Tahati loose glitter loose powder. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Um, let's see. It has like a pink undertone. Can you guys see that? Oh, oh my god, I added it too close to my eye. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to act like I get it not Oh my god. <laughs> I was hella trying to be YouTube and professional, trying to fake it, and girl, I got my highlight all the way up to my eyeshadow. Try this Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick. It's the mini one in the color Queen. I feel like Kylie Jenner lip liners, hands down. Not lip liners. Well, they're lip liners too. But their liquid lipsticks are the best formula I've ever tried. Like, oh my god. They're so buttery, soft. Like, you don't even feel like it's on your lips, but they're matte. The final look right here. The eye. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I know it was a super easy halo eye. I wasn't going to do a hard one. I don't really like doing hard makeup looks. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.